Guys, I just learned a tip to learn every fight. I kind of already knew it, but when I saw this video, I'm like, oh, so that's why this works. So we're going to watch it. It's a Twitter video right here. Let's go. Call me an idiot. You're an idiot. What'd you say? You're an idiot. You're an idiot. You're ugly. That hurts my feelings. Yeah, like I care. I'm going to get you in trouble. Sure, short stuff. I'm taller than you. Shut up. You call me an idiot one more time. All right, without without even, just by you watching that part, how do you think the guy's losing the fight? Okay, I'll let you answer. How do you think he's losing? He's he's defending himself, right? Yeah, sure, sure he's defending himself, but you'll you'll see why that does nothing. Back to the video. I mean, I will win, you'll kick your face. Like I care, like you could do anything in those clothes. <laughs> These clothes are freaking awesome, okay? Sure, plaid and sweater vest. Oh, you have eyes. You can see. Stop being mean. I hate your face. Stop being mean. I hate blonde people. <laughs> All right, give her a big hand clap. She did great. All right, now hold on, hold on. Good job. All right. I tried to stop you. I couldn't. You did a great job. Um, we're going to play one last time. Same rules. You can call me an idiot. I'm going to try to stop you. Don't let me stop you, okay? All right, now watch what he does here. And I'm pretty sure once you see this part, you'll know what the trick is, okay? You guys are about to learn the trick right now to win every fight. Here we go. You keep being mean to me. Let's go. You think I can stop her? No. 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 All right, I'll try. Here we go. On the count of three, everyone say action. One, two, three. Action. Go and call me an idiot. You're an idiot. Oh, you think I'm an idiot? Yeah. Yeah, sometimes I do stupid things. That's true. Yeah, you do. You always do stupid things. I know. You're so smart. You're so lucky. <laughs> yes, I am. You're awesome. Thank you. And you're not. I know. We, we established that. Cool. Look, my happiness is not based on whether you think I'm cool or not. I'm going to be happy even if you hate my guts. Okay. <laughs> and I'll always be nice to you, sweetheart. Okay. No. Isn't she lovely? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I won. Give me a big hand clap. That was awesome. Sociologists have been studying. Okay, all right. Before he gets away saying, think to yourself, how do you win the fight? Okay, back to the video. Being bullying for decades. They just don't call it bullying. They've always called it dominance behavior. That it's other people trying to overpower others. And it's just like the animal kingdom, you know, the alpha male mentality. That's what's happening on campus. And so when we understand it in terms of dominance behavior, people trying to have power over another, that helps us understand what to do about bullying when we really understand what it is. All the bullying experts agree on one thing, that bullying is an imbalance of power, that someone's trying to have power over you. They want to see you lose and they want to win. So he said in the last clip before this one, he said bullying is pretty much a dominance game. They're playing it because they want to be better than you, okay? Mentally, like mentally, they want to break you mentally. Because if they break you mentally, they win. But what if, what if they try and, uh, forget about the bullying. This is just like fighting in general, like uh, gain, gain in altercations with other people. This is how you win. Um, yeah, it, when you get into altercations with people, if the other person looks like they're they're not cracking, like you you're trying to argue with them, but they're not cracking, they're stone cold, and they're just like they're like smiling, and they're like, yeah, man, yeah, you're like you're arguing with them, and they're like, yeah, bitch, what, what are you gonna do? Like they're kind of smiling, like that psychopath smile when when uh you know those fight you know fighters right like they they um they're a bit psychotic, you know they they smile when they get in a fight, you know that's like. That freaks, that's free, that, that's, uh, that, that's, uh, scary for the opponent because it's like, holy shit, this guy's not scared of me. What the fuck? So it's all a mental game and he's going to explain pretty much how to win every fight with this mental game and how to be on top against the aggressor. So you guys are going to learn how to win every fight. You see, the experts say it's an imbalance of power. Let me put it this way. Let's say a bully says they hate your guts. I hate your guts. 
if you respond out of anger, shut up! The bully loves that. Never. I hate you. Don't care. You're hurting my feelings. That's the point, stupid. You see, the more upset you get, the more angry you get, the more fun they have. But what would happen if we were resilient? Everybody say resilient. Resilient. What if we were emotionally strong? Everybody say strong. Strong. What if we were mentally tough? Everybody say tough. tough. Then no matter what the hater says, you wouldn't care. I hate your guts. That's nice. (laughs) You smell like body odor. You're nasty. (laughs) Thanks for the information. (laughs) Your face is ugly. You have a face of an angel, sweet cheeks. (laughs) Okay, maybe that was too far. (laughs) But how awesome would it be if you, the victim of relentless teasing and taunting or bullying, decided to not get upset, to have tough skin, to allow the hateful, mean words of others bounce right off you and not care what the other person says? If, if you explain to students that bullying is nothing more than a game about winning and losing, and that the way that they can win is by not getting upset, and the bully will lose. And when people lose, they don't like playing the game, so they'll leave you alone. When you explain that to a student, it's simple, it's concrete. It's not abstract, it's not ethereal, it's not complex, it's simple. Don't get upset no matter what they say. Yeah, because when... Not, I, when I'm watching this video, I'm not thinking about a bully. I'm just thinking about getting a, in a fight with anyone. If you guys get in a fight with someone, if you act like nothing, anything they, if you act like th- what they're doing is not even affecting you whatsoever, that's going to freak them out. They're going to be like, well, damn, this guy is not reacting to anything that I'm saying to him. I'm, I'm uh, calling him names. I'm calling him a, a bitch. I don't fucking know. <laughs> And uh, he's not, he's not cracking. That, that's a little, it's, he's going to get a little like, like why, why he's going to get a little um, worried. He's going to be like, why is this guy not reacting to what I'm doing? He's going to get freaked out and back and kind of rethink his decision. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all it is. And it's like, then you, they look like idiots at that point. If you respond how he did, like you, you compliment them to their insults. It's like, they look like an idiot at that point. They're like, oh, you're stupid. Like they, they look like idiots when you respond, like, thank you. Like. They, they just, they look so fucking stupid if you respond to anyone that uh, talks shit like that. So it's like, um, it is a hack to life that I actually learned throughout the years. But when I saw this video, I'm like, this is, this video just pretty much encapsulates what I've been thinking for all these years. So, and uh, yeah, let's just keep watching the video. I'm not saying it's easy, but in logic, it's very simple. Now it's important to know this. When I say bullying, I'm only talking about when someone's hurting your feelings. If you can understand bullying in terms of someone hurting your feelings, then the solution is very simple. But some people think bullying is more complex than hurting your feelings. They think bullying is like violence. Let me make it very clear. When I say bullying, I'm not talking about when someone punches your face. I actually believe that You know, you should get upset if someone punches your face. That's not bullying. That's called assault and battery, okay? Don't just stand there. It's all good. (laughs) No, dude. If someone straight up punches your face, get upset. Why? Because that's a crime. That's not bullying. It's a crime. And crime should be punished. And if you ever feel like your life is in danger, you should be protected. You should reach out for help. Okay, I don't think I saw that last part when I first watched this video, so that was kind of, that veered off topic, because we're not talking about bullying, we're talking about how to win, win win a fight with another dude, when you fight, like, mentally, an argument, like, if he's trying to fucking, like, size you up, dude, like, you can get in his head just by, like, smirking, if you're you're smirking, if he's talking shit to you, he's gonna be like, oh, this guy's a weirdo, and then, uh, every time he's talking shit, he, he looks like an idiot, because it, it looks like it's not affecting you at all. Um, so yeah, uh, I didn't even say what, what's happening next. But anyways, uh, this whole concept, we uh, I'm not going to play the whole clip because I think I have to get wor- worried about copyright issues. But this is uh, from the movie The Dark Knight, you know, filmed in Chicago where I'm from, you know. I, I lived there when it was getting filmed. My mom actually saw uh, the scene where there was a parade. And yeah, it's pretty cool. 
So this this movie has a special place in my heart, The Dark Knight. Uh, but anyways, in this interrogation scene, you will see that Joker, you know, like, the Batman's trying to crack him. And how does the Joker respond? I think we all know. If you haven't seen this movie, you're going to find out. Um, but yeah, let's watch it. Of course not. What are you talking about? Then? Me? I was right here. Who did you leave him with? Okay, so let's just... I don't want to get copyright issues, but anyways. Um, yeah, okay, so he needs to get interrogated because he's trying to find out where Harvey is or something. Yeah, yeah, Harvey. He's trying to find out where Harvey Dent is, the police deputy. Oh, I forgot. Uh, yeah, so Batman's gonna interrogate him right here. Oh. 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 Never start with the head. The victim gets all fuzzy. He can't feel the neck. Look at him. Look at him. He's just cracking jokes. So, uh, <laughs> and he's, Batman's so serious. And it's just like, dude. Dude, like, what can Batman do? Like, he's just getting more and more pissed. And then he looks like he's losing the whole the whole dominance uh, battle between them. He's, he's just, the Joker's just winning by not reacting. So pretty much this is an actual thing. This isn't just some kind of gimmick. This is an actual thing to human psychology. Like this movie, yeah, it's a movie, but it's like demonstrating something that's real. If one dude's angry and the other dude's just fucking laughing in your, laughing in your face while you're trying your best to crack him, but you can't, Dude, the guy that's laughing, having fun, and just acting like it's not bothering him is going to win in any kind of altercation. Okay? Any kind of altercation. You, you you know when fighters, like MMA fighters, the ones that are smiling are the ones that are just, you know, the, the, the scariest ones because they're smiling while they're beating their opponents on the mat. You know, it's like those, those guys, you know, it's like. You don't want to fight a guy that's like you know enjoying the this this uh this uh violence. You don't you don't want to fight a guy like that because that's uh yeah, there's a real thing, guys. There's a real thing. This isn't just like some little gimmick. There's a real thing about human psychology that you need to take into your life because it is very important that you have this skill set throughout your life. See, you wanted me. Here I am. And you didn't disappoint. You let five people die. Then you let Dent take your place. Even to a guy like me, that's cold. Where's Dent? Those mob fools want you gone so they can get back to the way things were. But I know the truth. There's no going back. You've changed things. Forever. And why do you want to kill me? <laughs> He's laughing. I don't his face. You? What would I do without you? Go back to ripping off mob dealers? No, no. No. No, you. You complete me. You're garbage. You kills for money. Don't talk like one of them. You're not. Even if you'd like to be. To them, you're just a freak. Like me. Like me. Yeah. You right now. When they don't. They'll cast you out. Like a leper. See, their morals, their code. It's a bad joke. We've dropped at the first sign of trouble. They're only as good as the world allows them to be. I'll show you. When the chips are down, these uh these civilized people, they'll eat each other. Actually, the reason why I found this clip yesterday and that I decided to c combine it into this video was actually because of that statement right there. Because I'm, I'm thinking about the world and how, like, dude, we're one, we're one catab catastrophic, I'll just use that word, I was trying to use catabolismic, but okay, whatever. Okay, we're one catastro catastrophe away from everyone doing this. All right? Asked you out. Like a leper. See, their morals, their code. It's a bad joke. Right here, right here, right here. At the first sign of trouble. They're only as good as the world allows them to be. I'll show you. When the chips are down. The chips are down. These, uh, 
Civilized. Civilized people. They'll eat each other. They'll eat each other. See, I'm not a... And um, I kind of agree with him at this point with where the world's going. The uh, society, just very uh, degenerate society, you know? I feel like one catastrophe and everyone's going to eat each other, like like the Joker said. Uh, but anyways, back to the video. We're going to keep analyzing how, he, how he's uh, reacting to Batman trying to scare him. Look, Batman's trying to be all serious, trying to scare him, and Joker doesn't even care. A monster. Yeah. Just ahead of the curve. Where's Dent? You have all these rules, and you think they'll save you? What? See, see look. What could, what could? What can Batman do? What can he do? He can't do anything. There's no way to fight that. If your opponent doesn't crack, there's no way to make him crack. At that point, unless, unless uh, you uh, you beat him up. But even the Joker doesn't even care. At, when Batman's beating him up, it's like that's how important the skill set is. The the poker face, act like nothing affects you. It's in control. I have one rule. Oh, then that's the wait, rule. Wait, wait, wait. It's in control. Look, look, Gordon. Gordon said, "Who's in control?" Because they don't, they don't know what the hell's going on right now. They're like, "What?" I have one rule. Oh, then that's the rule. And then he doesn't know who's in control because. Look, the Batman's beating him up, but the Joker is unfazed. So Gorn's like, yeah, who's in control? The, the movie is actually telling us, like, what's happening here and how the Joker is using psychology. Well, you'll have to break to know the truth. Which is? The only sensible way to live in this world is without rules. And tonight you're going to break your one rule. I'm considering it. No, there's only minutes left. You're going to have to play my little game if you want to save one of them. Yeah. You know, for a while there, I thought you really were a dent. The way you threw yourself after her. <laughs> Look at you go! Bro, the music in this movie. Does Harvey know about you and his little boy? And Zimmer. Where are we? Killing is making a choice. Where are they? Choose between one life or the other. Your friend, the district attorney, or his blushing bride to be. <laughs> you have nothing, nothing to threaten me with. He just said it right there. He has nothing to throw throw him with. And look, look at look at Batman. And you know Christian Bale, right? The actor. You guys know that's. The, christian bale right uh you know christian bale while he's acting this scene he he per look at batman's eyes right there he purposely showed the fear in his eyes christian bale did amazing right as being an actor and he's like okay at this part i need to show that batman is scared for his life uh, i mean not scared for his life but scared he see he, the joker turned the turned the tables um uh, because, you know, Batman just found out that not only is Harvey in danger, but also Rachel, his love, is in danger. So it's like, dude, yeah. So literally the movie is explaining how the Joker has... No Batman has nothing to throw in Joker with. Nothing to do with all of your strength. Nothing to do with all your strength, yeah? Don't worry. I'm going to tell you where they are. Both of them. And that's the point. You'll have to choose... He's at 250-52nd Street, and she's uh, on Avenue X at Cicero. Which one you going after? Rachel! Look out again! Great movie. Anyways, uh, I also... This this video is way too long. I get it. I get it. But uh, it's like, it, it needs to be talked about. I need to learn how to keep the pace up with these videos. But sorry, guys. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Guys, uh, also another thing that made me realize this trick, th like the main thing that actually helped me realize this trick, not from like watching YouTube videos throughout the years, but actually I have this friend um, that's like, he's 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 a wild guy. He's a wild guy. And uh, he actually has a personality where he's like always kind of like happy and giddish. And he's also a very social guy. He's very, yeah, very cool guy. And um, when he... When he, uh, me and him would hang out and, like, we would, like, run into other dudes at, like, some kind of bar or something. 
uh he would always say some like weird shit right and the guys would like kind of like uh kind of diss him for saying that shit like like bro like that's weird as hell and then he you know how he would react he'll be like because that's just his personality he'll be like yeah it's weird as hell like like he's not even joking like he wasn't even trying to play a little dominance game that's just his personality like he thinks he's like a very uppity uh adhd type guy and then the the way he responded to any like little criticisms from like people around us like if he would say some weird shit and someone would respond was the way he responded was what taught me this trick because I would see uh, see the way he responded. I was like, wait, so if someone said that to me, I would kind of get mad and kind of want to like fight back. But get what would that do? I started thinking like, okay, what would that do? The way my friend's doing it, the way my friend is just like seeming all happy and acting like nothing just happened uh, makes actually the person that tried to diss him look like an idiot at that point. And then he's just he's just perfectly fine. So that's actually how I started thinking about this trick. I'm like, wow, this this is amazing. Then I saw this Twitter video, and then yesterday I ran into this Joker video because I wanted to search up the line where people would eat each other at the first drop of trouble, and then I, that's when I realized it, it's all connected, man. So, yeah, this video is way too long. Uh, I don't care. It's very important information we all needed to hear. Um, have a good life. Goodbye.